one. Well, this is a site we certainly don't see a whole lot in the middle of January here in central Pennsylvania, but the sun is shining this afternoon over Nittany Valley, but it's not very warm whatsoever. Temperatures are only in the middle 30s. Across much of Pennsylvania, it is sunny this afternoon. This white shading south of I-80 you see here is actually fresh snow cover from the light snow event we had over the weekend. And across much of the mid-Atlantic this afternoon, it's relatively quiet, just some scattered cloud cover. And that's gonna really be the trend over the next several days is it's gonna be a fairly quiet weather pattern at least until later this week. With the clear skies and calm winds later this evening, temperatures will have no problem falling below 20 degrees here in State College. In the more outlying areas of Center County, we could even fall into the lower teens by dawn. And then over the next couple of days, the weather will stay fairly tranquil. Sunshine tomorrow, a few more clouds during the day on Wednesday. And then a system moves in later Thursday into early Friday that could bring a coating to maybe perhaps a couple inches of snow, but the bigger story we're watching is this weekend and there could be a more significant winter storm and I'll talk about that in just a moment. So over the next several days, lots of sunshine with times of clouds approaching by Wednesday and a few snow showers off of Lake Erie. Then a system moves in from the west later Thursday and it will likely fall as snow across a good chunk of Pennsylvania. And we could see, like I mentioned, maybe a coating to perhaps a couple inches of snow out of this system. That clears out by early Friday and then a new system moves in later Saturday and into Sunday and this could be a significant storm. Now this is just one computer model showing what could be a pretty expansive snowstorm from New England all the way back into the Ohio River Valley, but keep in mind there are many solutions to what this storm could become. Uh, the timing and the exact amounts are still fairly uncertain at this point, and another thing we're gonna be watching is the exact track that this storm takes. A track closer to the coast would probably mean more significant snow here in central Pennsylvania, whereas a track further offshore likely means we miss out on the big snowfall. So stay tuned to the Campus Weather Service. We'll have continuing updates throughout the rest of this week. So as I mentioned, much more tranquil weather in the forecast, at least in the short term. Some sunshine tomorrow, then more in the way of cloud cover on Tuesday. Could even be a few flurries with some lake effect snow off of Lake Erie. And then a system moves in late Thursday. That will likely bring a quick coating to a few inches of snow late Thursday into the morning hours of Friday. Then that system that we're watching for the weekend could bring snow, a mix of rain and snow, or perhaps maybe even nothing, depending on the exact track of the storm. Again, stay tuned to the Campus Weather Service for more on that. But one thing we're fairly certain is that after that storm moves by the East Coast, it's going to turn much colder. Temperatures might only be in the single digits come Monday morning. So some bitter cold ahead after that weekend system. From the Campus Weather Service, I'm Matt Honig. Thanks for tuning in to CNET this evening, and have a great rest of your Monday.